Hi, fourth graders. This week, your decoding skill is all about words with vowel, vowel, syllable division patterns. Let's take a look at this skill. On the screen, we have two words, poem and toast. Let's take a look at the word poem. Po -m, poem. In the middle of the word, we have two vowels, O and E. When we break this word into its syllables, we are going to divide the word in between the two vowels. Po -m, poem. Now let's look at the word toast. It also has two vowels, O, A. The word toast is a one syllable word. Therefore, we won't be breaking it into any other syllables. The letters O and A are working together to make one sound, O. Let's look at some more words with vowel, vowel spelling patterns. Here we have our words broken into two columns. At the top of the left-hand column is the word poem. Then on the top of the right-hand column is the word toast. Let's begin by reading the words underneath the poem. Violin, cereal, quiet. What do all of these words have in common with one another and with the word poem? Well, they all have a vowel-vowel pattern. In violin, the vowels I and O are next to one another. In serial, the vowels are E, A. In quiet, the vowels are I, E. In each of these words, the vowels next to each other are not working together to make one sound. Rather, they are dividing into syllables in between those two vowels. Listen, vi, o, lin. This word is a three syllable word, but the first and second syllables break in between the i and o. The next word is serial, si, re, ul. Here, it's also a three syllable word, but the second and third syllable break comes in between the vowels e and a. Then we have the word quiet. Qui et. This is a two syllable word breaking in between the letters I and E. In this case, the vowel U is actually working together with the Q to make the Q sound. Now let's look at the words underneath toast believe, good, breath. What do these three words have in common with one another and with the word toast? Well, in these words, the two vowels that are next to each other in that vowel-vowel syllable pattern are working together to make one sound. Believe. Believe. The I and E in believe are working together to make the E sound. Good. In the word good, the letters O-O are working together to make the U sound. In this word, the E and A are working together to make the E sound. Here you can see that when the vowels are working together to make one sound, there will not be a syllable break in between those vowels. Now let's look at some more words. This time, you are going to be working to sort the words either into the column that matches poem where there are two vowel sounds and the word breaks in between the V, V pattern, or they are like the word toast, where the two vowels are working together to make one vowel sound and they are not breaking into syllables in between those vowels. Let's start with the word dual. Where does dual belong? That's right, it has two syllables, do, l. So it's going to go in the first column. How about the word annual? Yes, annual will also go under poem. Annual. 
the syllable breaks in between the U and the A. How about shoe? This time, it goes under the word toast. Shoe is a one-syllable word, and the O and E are working together to make the OO sound. Next is the word react. Where does this word belong? That's right, it belongs under poem. Here, the E and A are not a vowel team. Instead, the word breaks itself into syllables in between the E and A. React, react. Then we have the word fluid. Where does this word belong? You're right, it belongs under poem. It has two syllables and the syllable breaks in between the vowels, flu-id. Then we have the word said. Where does said belong? You've got it. It belongs under toast. The A and I are working together to make the E eh sound. Next is the word wait. Where does wait belong? Yes, it belongs under toast. The E, I are working together to make the A sound. Then we have the word beast. Where does beast belong? You're right, it also belongs under toast. The E and A are working together to make one vowel sound. Next is the word radio. Where does radio belong? It belongs under a poem. The I and O are not working together to make one vowel sound. Ray, D, O. There is actually a syllable break in between these two vowels. Two more words to go. Next is the word wheel. Where does wheel belong? It belongs under toast. The E, E is working together to make one vowel sound. And finally, the word giant. Where does giant belong? Yes, it belongs under poem. The I and A are not working together. They are making their own separate vowel sounds. Gi, ant, giant. Great job sorting these words with me as we work to decode the two different VV syllable division patterns.